guys welcome back to my channel uh, it's Selin and today uh, we are making a little bit different video from the others as you can see we are with Gabriel Gabriel is from Spain and he is Erasmus student in our school and also in our department and I'm gonna ask some of questions to him and it's like an in it's like a be an interview and if you're ready and if you are ready <laughs> I am also ready. We can start the video. So, the first question is basic questions. Can you introduce yourself okay. to my subscribers, <laughs> okay. please? Okay. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, I really appreciate that you asked me to be on your video. Uh, as Selin said, I'm studying in Spain. I'm a Erasmus student. I'm studying currently in Galicia, which is in the north part of Spain, near Portugal. And I came here to finish my degree. I'm in the last year student. And well, thanks for having me again. Anytime. Okay, the second question is, uh, why did you choose this department and this department is your dream job or something? Okay, so uh, since I was a child, I knew I wanted to be related with aircraft or with rocketry itself. Uh, I wanted to be a pilot someday. Uh, maybe you guys wanted to be too, or maybe some of you are currently starting to be a pilot. But uh, I guess that I just choose to be more centered in how a plane works and understand how an aircraft develops itself. So I wanted to be anything related with aircraft or with rocketry. So I decided to study engineering and in Spain, which the more senior one was aeronautics, aerospace, whatever you want to call it. And that's it. And uh, let's talk about your lessons, okay. your term. How is going your <laughs> lessons? He's a really intelligent student, by the way. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are not. Okay, so, um, I mean, what is your favorite lesson? Yeah, yeah. And what is the most okay. difficult part of it? Um, I have currently seven lessons in this semester. Uh, I have so many because in Spain, uh, the number of credits for each subject are higher than here. So, mm -hmm. for example, a subject here with five credits is in Spain six. Or if I have nine in Spain, here it's only five and I have to take two. So, it's 11 for nine. So it's quite, it's quite way. difficult. Wow. Uh, if you guys go to Erasmus, try to have a better look of this because if you want to enjoy and travel a lot, yeah. maybe if you have so many lessons, you don't got the chance to go there. But I mean, with seven lessons, it's everything okay because the teachers are really good for me and they are always making it easier for me if you have to go to somewhere. And talking about my favorite lesson, uh, I will say that it's between aircraft performance and model-based aircraft design, which is a subject from the fourth year. As you guys uh, may see, I have subjects for a lot of uh, courses. I am first, second and third year student here because in Spain we have a different program. So the subjects in Spain in the first or second year, they are not similar to uh, Turkey. So I have to choose different ones. And I will say that my favorite is model based, as I was saying previously, because you use MATLAB to develop some codes to understand how an aircraft works in the different phases of the flight. So you apply, let's say, uh, the structural, the aerodynamics, and some other fields to understand how an aircraft works itself. So that will be one of my favorite ones. Yeah. So which one is most difficult? <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer, but I want to ask again, again, and again. Okay. <laughs> so as you say, my well, the most difficult here probably is between heat transfer, which I don't have it, but yeah, as I as I've heard, as I as I've learned for all of you guys. Heat transfer and thermodynamics will be probably the most difficult ones, but for me, control system definitely because of the high amount of you know functions and variables that you have to apply to a software in this case to MATLAB. And maybe you understand properly the lessons, but then when you want to apply them, if you don't work and practice properly, yes, you don't really get to uh, manage yourself and do the exercise properly. So you have to work hard. What is your midterm results then? Tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, she's gonna say that I had a hundred, but yeah. 
don't yeah. don't be <laughs> don't blame me because I didn't study that much and the teacher helped us really because we went on a trip to Baku so he, he managed to help us to get a great result in that exam let's say so uh, talk about your Erasmus life. okay why did you choose Turkey and why did you choose this school can you say something about that okay I'll be honest with you my first option in the Erasmus was not Ankara was Lithuania in this case Vilna which is the capital city um, I've always wanted to travel to Eastern European countries like Lithuania, Poland and all these things because I really like the Cold War era and you know the Soviet stuff and in Lithuania I would probably have the chance to meet all these things. So I didn't get the chance because of the uh, poor uh, number of people that can go and my second option was Ankara. and. Now that I'm here, I have to say that I should have choose, chosen Ankara in the first option because I really like Turkey. Uh, I have met many people, not only from Turkey, but also from Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, many countries from Africa. Since UTA is an international university and there are many students which come from all over the world. Yes. So I wanted to come to Turkey to have that experience of the cultural shock that may uh, you know, I think that I've, I've found what I wanted to find because the people are really nice. The hospitality is really important here for all the Turkey people. I've met so many friends that probably I will uh, let uh, I will have it for all of my life. And I don't know. I will say that Turkey is not that diff different from Spain since we are Mediterranean people, and yeah. I probably feel more at home that I would probably feel in Lithuania. So, uh, what is your favorite <laughs> meal and drink? Okay, Turkey. okay. I'm gonna start with the drink because we I'm really in love with. Uh, my favorite beverage from Turkey is Iran. Uh, probably in Spain Iran? there has to be something similar to Iran because it's easy to make, it's just yogurt, salt and water. But here Iran has something like special. It's true. I know, I don't know, the flavor and the taste is so good and since there are so many different, uh, you know, brands, yes. different brands in the market, so you can choose different items and n none of them, I mean, none of them taste the same, so it's really good to know, to, <laughs> <laughs> to try them all and if we talk about uh, food, obviously I wanted to try uh, Turkish kebab because in Spain we have another different kind and I have to say, obviously, I prefer the Turkish one. Yes, and also, I don't know, lama chun, pide. Uh, I like I like everything about uh, Turkey uh, food. Have you tried before yeah. Iran in Spain? I mean, you haven't tried. I mean, Are probably probably we have, like because it's just yogurt, salt, and yes, water. Yeah, this is so sweet. But we, when you go to the supermarket, you don't find Iran. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it. By I the mean, way. you can find probably like. Uh, yogurt you know for drinking yeah but not like either it's different totally totally, totally different. different yeah, yeah yes. i'm gonna ask the other question what uh -huh. is the difference between spain iron school engineering and turkey iron school engineering okay um, if we look up on how is it distributed in uta um you have here two different degrees one is aeronautical and the other one is aerospace uh, in space, we have all connected in one general uh, degree, which is called aeronautics or aerospace, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to specialize, get specialized in the space sector, in the defense sector, in the civil aviation sector, you get to choose in the third and fourth year the subjects that are related more with spacecraft or more with aviation itself. But the most important thing comes when you finish your degree and you want to choose a master, for example. Uh, if you want to specialize more in structures or, I don't know, in materials, motor uh, engines or in aircraft, you get to choose different uh, master degrees and that's, there's, that's when when you get to specialize yourself. So it's, I don't know if it's different, but 
normally in Europe and in the US is more similar to your to your uh, major here. Mm -hmm. So in space, like more centered in learning the basics of engineering, mathematics, physics, and so on. And then you start in the third year to learn the year, the real part of aeronautics. Which way do you want to go okay. with that structural parts or analysis, aerodynamics, I mean? Well, um, I like both of them, but probably mine is has nothing to do with any normal topic, let's say, because I like the part which comes directly with marketing, economics, and you know, working in a business in the business market. Also, I like the part of being um, security man manager. So. If you, all of any of, of you want to get informed about, uh, just look at the FAA in the United States or the EASA in, uh, in the Europe side, which are the organizations that develop the security and certifications uh, properly to have the aviation working as it should be and to make it a safer transfer for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So, so, in my case, I will work probably in the civil aviation yes. market. And I was going maybe, to say that. Yeah, and maybe related with the, if I can, with the United Nations. But I want to choose defense, okay. actually, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, so, the lastly, can you recommend something to my, to okay. me and to my subscribers <coughs> about everything, whatever you want? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, if you don't have right now, you should, which is having a great English. Uh, the aeronautics oh, and the space industry, it has only has to do with English, so it's an English spoken industry. So if you wanna reach your goals and <laughs> if you wanna reach your goals and fly high at a star aircraft, you have you need a very good level of English. And if you manage to learn a second language like yes. German or French, that will be great. Secondly, uh, just not don't don't get everything that you learn in class, just try to learn by yourself all the things. You know, especially with software like SOLIDWORKS, ANSYS, MATLAB, Python. If you enjoy discovering how they work yeah. and how to, you know, understand the basics of each software you're gonna be and you're gonna have a base uh, and whenever you wanna go to uh, try to find a job, if they ask you questions about this software and you know how to solve them, that's gonna be a great idea for you. So just try to learn different softwares by yourself, not only those that you learn in class. Get yourself in enrolled in different courses or uh, in different academics to and with your friends to learn new languages, not only English, and also try to manage your time and be a well-organized person yes. because that's really important. Yes, you should be different from the other ones. Yeah. And I wish I learned ANSYS or MATLAB. <laughs> <laughs> I can get better results for my other okay. lessons. So, uh, say something in Turkish <laughs> a little bit to my subscribers. <laughs> Please, and okay. also Spanish. Okay, uh, Meraba. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not so hard. It's really hard. Mer Merhaba. He, he thinks that Turkish is a really, <laughs> yeah, it's really hard really language hard. in the world. Yeah, yeah. I, it I just, is not. I just know how to say like words like Merhaba, saying hello, like good night and good morning. Uh, you, you know, to be nice with people, but I don't even know how to say my name is Gabriel, so you should teach me. Benim adım Gabriel. Okay, merhaba, benim adım Gabriel. Okay. Espanyolim. Espanya... I'm from Spain. Okay, Espanyolim. Espanyolim. Espanyolim, okay. Yes, okay. yes. Say something in Spanish. Eh... Hola a todos, me llamo Gabriel, eh, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo y muchas gracias por tenerme aquí. You're talking too fast. Yeah. Spanish is too fast. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for your watching. Uh, and if you had a questions to me or to Gabriel, you can ask to us whenever you want. Yeah. And so, uh, see you on next video. Bye. Bye.